In this quick start tutorial, we'll be learning how to set up your workstation to work with MIDI. Now you've got to remember that MIDI's not audio. It's a computerized language used by machines, kind of like a fax machine to another. In the case of MIDI, it's your controller, let's say your keyboard, to some other special console, your MIDI interface, your sound card, to Pro Tools. That's the path MIDI follows to get into your Pro Tools session file. Now from your Pro Tools session file, you can also control your keyboard. You simply need to line things out from Pro Tools through your sound card or MIDI interface and back to your keyboard or synth. You can also, instead of using a real instrument, you can use a virtual instrument like Motu, Ethno, or Symphonic instruments. In the past, you needed a special interface to get MIDI into your DAW, but these days most sound cards will have a MIDI input, a MIDI output, and a MIDI throughput. This allows you to connect your cables to have MIDI sound coming in from your keyboard into your computer and from your computer out to your keyboard. We cover this topic in greater detail later in this course. Before you can use MIDI and Pro Tools, you've got to set up the instruments and the ports. On a Macintosh, you need to configure the audio MIDI setup utility that comes with the OSX operating system. It's in the Applications Utilities folder. Or you can get to it from Setup, Edit MIDI Studio. The Audio MIDI Setup dialog window that you see here opens. Click the MIDI Devices tab. The AMS Utility scans your system for connected MIDI interfaces. If it's properly connected and powered on, your device will appear in the window, as you see here. Each of its ports will have an input and output marking with these arrows. These are where you make the connections. If you don't see your MIDI interface here, you might need to check the interface instructions. Maybe you need a driver install or a simple reboot. Let's say you want to add your synth now. Click Add Device. A new external device icon appears. It's a keyboard, the standard icon. Now simply connect the new device to your MIDI interface. Just click the arrow on the output and cable it to the input arrow. Then connect the output port on your MIDI interface to the input of your new synth. Now we need to configure the new device. Double click the new device. The new external device properties window opens. Select a manufacturer and model, but if nothing matches, just type in the name of your synth. The new external device properties window opens. Select your manufacturer and model. If nothing matches your synth, just type in the name. Click on this arrow to display more information. Now let's enable the channels for sending and receiving MIDI data. We need at least one channel for transmitting data, and we can enable as many as 16 channels to receive the data. When you're done, exit the utility. After this, my Triton will be available to me as a MIDI input-output choice on MIDI tracks. If you're using a Windows system, you do your setup from within Pro Tools. First, make sure your MIDI interface and your controller are connected and on. Now select Setup, MIDI, MIDI Studio. Let's drag this window into here. OK. And let's get our transport out of the way. It's a floating window, so we'll have to do this again. The MIDI Studio Setup window is organized in three sections. On the top we have our controls. We will use these to configure our devices. On the left panel we're going to see the instruments that we've defined. I haven't defined any so it's blank right now, but not for long. Let's click Create. On the right hand side I see my Properties panel. I can detail a number of parameters for each of my selections here. First, I can type in the name of my instrument, or if I select the manufacturer and model, Pro Tools will just offer me a default name that I can accept or change. Let's select my manufacturer. I've got a Korg Triton. It's a Triton regular. Okay, my default name is Korg Triton 1. That looks good. Now I select my input and output ports from these drop down menus. Basically, this is the name of your MIDI audio interface. In my case, it's an M Audio Firewire 410. It's my sound card. I'm going to choose that for my output port as well. 
Now I need to enable some channels for sending and receiving MIDI data. If you don't enable one of these channels, then your MIDI cable won't transmit the data to your computer and vice versa. So let's enable a channel. You don't need to click OK. Once you've made these selections, your instrument will be active. We close the window and let's go back to the MIDI studio setup to check out our new instrument. We have the Korg Triton listed in the left hand panel already pre-configured for us. This instrument will now be available for us as an input and output selection path for MIDI tracks. And this concludes our quick start review of how to set up your MIDI studio.